Hi everybody, Ryan Belgi with Golf News Net back here. Thanks for checking us out again on our channel. So it's March here in the northeastern part of the United States and that means it's time for golf tee season where you kind of get a day where you're like, yeah, I gotta go play some golf and you go play like nine holes after work. You have a great time. You're like, golf season's here. It's time to start hitting the range, getting better, getting ready for the year. And then all of a sudden, it's like 30 degrees for five straight days. Then it rains for three more and then suddenly somehow it snows and golf season isn't really here yet. And then by the time April comes around, yeah, it's golf season, but you've already been jacked up and you need to work on your game and you're thinking about golf and you need a way to work on it without necessarily being able to go to the golf course or the driving range because of the weather. Maybe it's too cold. And so I have something for you that's going to really help your game and it's going to help you kind of scratch that itch of playing golf, getting ready for golf season at the same time. <clears throat> it's from our friends at Putt Out. Uh, Putt Out has become a little bit of a cult favorite in the last couple of years, and they've really built a social media presence above all else that has turned into a lot of tour validation from players because, as the name implies, Putt Out has come out with a lot of great products designed to help you improve your putting. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about two products. We're going to talk about this guy here. We're going to talk about a putting mat as well. But they've also recently come out with a putting mirror. So if you're someone who really likes to analyze where your head is, where your club is, where your club head is, at impact, and through all kinds of different positions through the stroke, also check that out as well. We'll have a review for that. But it's been lauded. It's been used pretty well on the PGA Tour and European Tour to start out just being introduced. So these guys know what they're doing. They've come up with some good stuff. But I want to talk right now about the pressure putt trainer and the putting mat. So first, the pressure putt trainer, which is kind of the, the OG, the original product for putt out. And what makes it so interesting, one, you can use it indoors. Two, it really helps you putt line and speed particularly well. So it's not just one or the other. It's not just an aiming thing. It does a little bit of everything really, really well. And I really love this product because it reminds me a little bit of back when I was in high school. I would sit at a desk kind of like this and do homework. And I would get bored. And then I would want to go play some golf or think about golf, or think about literally anything else other than the homework that I was doing. And so I had one of those putting machines where you would putt the ball in, and it would filter the ball into the hole, and it would spit it back at you. And I never got better putting using that thing, and large part it was because it didn't teach me anything. I could just putt the ball into this kind of about this wide size of a hole, and it would just filter in. I didn't really learn anything except the break on my parents' carpet. With this, though, this putt-out pressure putt trainer, you can learn how to putt line and speed, and you can train yourself over and over again to hit putts at the right speed. So let me show you how it works real quick, and then we'll show you a live demo. So this is the device. It's really simple, really easy. It comes in this package, and what you do with it, you can do two things with it. So you can do, first, you open it up like that, really easy. So it stores easy. You can put it in your bag if you want. Take it with you, you can have it at your office, whatever you need. If it needs to be in a tight space, it can handle that. You flip it over, and then you're going to put this little plug here up into the hole here. And so what this does, this allows you to practice putting just like you normally would, just how you would think, to try to hit to a target and get it in there. And so this white TPU piece, this plastic piece here, this is representative of a golf cup. You have four and a quarter inches. And so if you roll the ball over it, you've made the putt, so to speak. And then the putt will go up this ramp, and then it will come back to you. And however far it comes back to you is how far you've hit it past the hole. So obviously, in an ideal world, you would hit it at make speed, so you would just come in here and die. But if you hit it too hard, it would come back a little bit toward you. And that's okay, you can hit it a little bit too hard and still make the putt. But you don't want to have it all the way up top here and coming back at you, then you've hit it too hard. The other piece of this that I really like, and this is really how I would want to use it and how I do use it, is as a, a really a micro training device to try to get yourself more acclimated to line and speed at all kinds of distances on different types of breaks. And you can use this indoors or out so that you feel like you're using this to make sure you hit the perfect putt. Not a good putt, a perfect putt. So you can train more precisely. And how you do that is you take this plug out push it out, back into its little slot there. And now what you're doing, you're looking for a perfect putt. And so you're still aiming for this cup here. You're still trying to get the ball in the hole, so to speak. 
but now you're trying to hit it with make speed. You're trying to hit it just a little past the cup because that's what this represents. That's what this hole represents. So if you hit a perfect putt, it'll go over this, it'll go up the ramp, and it'll stop in here. That's a perfect putt. And so that's what you're trying to do. That's the game you're trying to play with yourself as you use this. And if you train yourself to use it properly, then you're going to make sure you're going to try and hit the ball just a little past the hole, just a little past the hole, no matter the type of putt. And if you can train yourself to do that, then you're going to feel a whole lot more confident standing over any putt. You're hitting it at the right speed. You're hitting it with confidence. Because if you're just kind of diving into the hole, there are times when you have to do that. But more often than not, you want to put it right in the back and let it just kind of fall in. Not too hard so that it pops out, of course, but this is what that's trying to emulate. So we're going to show you a live example with that, as well, the putt-out putting mat, which I think you'll enjoy as well. So let's take a look at it. So this is the putt-out putting mat. I really like the putt-out putting mat, again, because it's six feet long, and it has a lot of features in here that makes it pretty easy for me to work on my putting alignment. So you'll see there are different foot markers, six feet, five feet, four, three, three feet, two feet, one foot, and there's an area for a hole. So even if you don't have the pressure putt trainer, you could still use this putting mat very effectively and get putts to a hole that is four and a quarter inches. You'll also notice there are different alignment lines on here. So if I'm going to stand over a putt, I can align my putter blade to that line marker, and I can do it right down the middle as well. So I know if I hit the putt straight through that center line there, keeping the blade on the dotted line, that looks perfect. That looks like a blade to me. So that's something that's going to go right in that hole over there. And you have different alignment markers too. So you can do it from a right side putt, a left side putt. Those are great. And then obviously, as you kind of get closer to the hole, you're thinking a little bit less about whether you're on the right hash or the left hash, center hash. You're just trying to make the putt. So at that point, you don't really need as many lines. This is a high quality material down here. It's very nice. Runs pretty quickly. It folds out pretty easily. It also folds up pretty easily. It comes in what it amounts to the golfer's version of a yoga mat sack. So you can put it right in there, take it with you wherever you got to go. And then you can use it at your office, at your house, at your club, wherever you're killing time. You can take it on the road with you. If you're on a buddy strip, you can work on it in your room and maybe get a little bit of an edge, if you know what I'm saying. And so we're going to show you a little demo using the putting mat and the pressure putt trainer right now. All right, so we've lined up a three-footer here. As you can tell, I've got a ball right at the three-foot mark. And so I'm going to show you how to use the alignment aid in terms of the blade, but also your path. And then we've also got the pressure putt trainer at the end. And it's got it set up for the perfect putt. So our goal is to try and hit a putt that goes past that hole, that TPU marker that counts as the hole, have a made putt, and hit it just perfectly so that it lands in the micro hit micro hole for a perfect putt. I've been trying this. I've been using this for a while. I have not had many perfect putts. So for this being a live demo, we might not get one that goes in the hole. But I do want to show you how it works because I think it's a really cool tool. All right, so let's try it. All right, we're going to line up the blade here. So we've got a line that has the through line on the putt, so that's how I want my arc to go. That's how I want the putter blade to go. And then I've got a spot for the blade to line up as well. So let's give it a try. All right, so that went in, obviously, but it didn't be, it wasn't a perfect putt, right? So we're gonna give it another try. Line the blade, take the stroke. Push that a little bit, still made the putt, but again, not a perfect putt. Try it again. Little push, still went in, but again, not a perfect putt. One more. Get this alignment right. Oh, I went right over it. You gotta be kidding. All right, so back here in the office, I had a great little demo showing off the putt out pressure putt trainer as well as the practice mat. The package is 120 bucks. So the pressure putt trainer is $30 unto itself. Easy to get and get it through Amazon. They do almost all their shipping through Amazon, especially into the United States and Canada. And then the putting mat, which 
if you're curious, runs at about a stimp of 10. So if you're kind of a club golfer, that's exactly where you need to be. That's $90. The whole thing is about 7-ish feet long, a little bit longer than 7 feet. So there's room for you to take your putter blade back. There's room for a little space after the cup. You don't have to buy the putting mat and the pressure putt trainer together. You can just use the pressure putt trainer if you want in your office. You could do it on hardwood. Carpet's probably better. Whatever you choose. I mean, it's still going to be effective. But the, the pressure putt or the putting mat is also probably more effective with a pressure putt trainer, but you don't need it uh, to, to make the tandem work. You don't have to have the tandem there. You can have, you just have an old flat cup that you've used forever. You can use that too. It's compatible. It's all the same. But for 120 bucks, you're going to get a really awesome package that I guarantee you will make you a better putter because you're going to learn how to hit putts with better speed, with better face alignment, with better path alignment. This is something that's going to make you a better putter. And you're going to feel more comfortable in the green. On quicker greens, on slower greens, you're going to feel more comfortable standing over those pressure putts that are going to be the difference between you winning your Nassau, winning your match, winning your club championship, or just kind of sitting around wondering why you came up short again. So if you've got a hankering for some golf, if you're not quite ready for golf season yet, or even as we get into golf season, if you find yourself in need, in desperate need of help with a putter, check out Putt Out. Check them out online. You can either check them out on their website or you can go through Amazon. Just search Putt Out. You'll find all of their products there as well as the putting mirror that you can check out for yourself too. I'm Ryan Balji. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.